All uh, praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakwadash. The by honors to the apostles of Elders the Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth in sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. All uh, praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. A lot of people are playing games with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So as you, you know, navigate through this thing that we call life, it's a lot of people who have lack of respect for the creator of all things and his only begotten son. And then you even have people that are in the truth who's playing games. And when I say in the truth, I'm talking about people who was once in the truth and then, you know, start changing the doctrine or people who was in the truth and they was, they started out diligent. Now they backsliding, you know, so it's a lot of people playing games and my belief. Now we know overall, that's just the will of the Lord. So it's meant for some people to fall off to, as the scripture talks about, go back to your vomit. But all of these things are signs, examples, symbolisms. That's what this whole book is about. It's a big allegory. All right. It's an enigma. Look that up. All right. So, um, but let me get this because <clears throat> this is the mindset. See, these type of videos have to be made because I, I always look at it like this. Right. I say this a lot. If you watch my videos. We understand that the Lord said that the elect obtained it, the rest were blinded. We understand that some people are not going to get it. We understand that some people are going to get it and eventually fall away. All of this is called plot twists in the Lord's movie. People that you thought that were men of the Lord. That's why I'm very terrified of the of this truth, man. You could be a man of the Lord one day, a demon the next. So these things have to happen, but we still have to tell you about yourself. We still have to tell you. Or your blood will be on our hands. So now when the Lord do bring the judgment, it's in your subconscious now. See, you've been told that the Lord is going to destroy you if you don't repent. So it's no excuse. So now. Say not I have sinned and what harm have happened unto me for the Lord is long suffer. He will no wise let you go. See, because you. You know, the, the famous scripture, you know, because the Lord don't judge you right then and there. Ecclesiastes uh, 8 and 11, you know, sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily. So you thinking like, OK, I've been sinning. Ain't nothing happened. Right. As the scripture said, the Lord is long suffering, which means he's patient. He don't he's not impulsive like us. See, we some uh, a certain thing can happen unto us. And now we ready to kill you. We ready to beat your ass. We ready to do whatever. We ready to get our vengeance. All right. The Lord ain't like that. The Lord is so patient, you know, and he going to get you when you unexpected. That's why the scripture said the Lord going to come as a thief in the night. And so he will no wise let you go. So the Lord, he don't let things go. He let things slide for a period of time, but he don't let nothing go. And it says, and say not his mercy is great. Oh, concerning propitiation, oh, I have to script the whole scripture. <laughs> concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. This is Christianity right here. This is Christianity right here, boy. All right. As a former Christian, when I was in church and I went to church a few times a week, so I was one of those type of church people. I really thought I was in the truth. So I always had the Lord always blessed me with some type of diligence when I believe in something I believe. OK, so. But when I was in Christianity and now that I'm in the truth, I realized how night and day it is and how I was going off because, you know, you grow up in a society where your pastor tell you that God loves everybody. And, you know, all you got to do is repent to sweet Jesus and everything will be all right. But you never change your ways. You never been instilled to fear of the Lord. So this is Christianity right here, because. You know, the truth been so long without fruit, but now it's declared now. And, and you've been living majority of your life in sin. So that's what you used to. So now you just add in sin to sin without fear because you've been doing it for so long and you and you haven't been judged yet. 
So you think in your mind, like, oh, well, ain't nothing happened yet. That's why Zephaniah, let's get that real quick. And then jump back. It said, and it shall come to pass that at that time, what time? The day of the Lord. That I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves, which is your comfort. All right. That say in their heart, Yahweh would not do good, neither would he do evil. And that's because the sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily. So verse six and say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude from of my sins for mercy and wrath come from him and his indignation rest of upon sinners. So in due time, continue to keep doing what you're doing and, and see how it will work out for you. Now, I put some scriptures together that I thought that would fit this lesson, too. So. um, If I could just blaze through it, because now I got. I'm on a schedule now, so I'll be trying to um get these videos as, you know, on a time base, but be edifying at the same time. So it says Malachi 2 and 17, you have weary the Yahweh with your words, because one thing about our people, they do not fear the things that come out of their mouth. They're not even mindful of the things that come out of their mouth. They are just straight up disrespectful. Like you got more black atheists. And that's at an all time high. This is how you know that the Lord is on his way back. We are the most spiritual people. That's why we've been in church. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause our spirit that's inside of us, we are the Lord's people. So we naturally have a spirituality about us, but we are so far gone that you got people that's just straight atheists now that of our people, man. So, and since they are atheists, what the type of shit they be talking about? You know, oh, they basically be questioning God and asking God this. And the thing is, if you hearken unto the prophets, then you will get an answer, you know. So it says you have weary Yahweh with your words. Yet you say, wherein we have weary him. When you say everyone that do of evil is good in the sight of Yahweh because you condemn the just and justify the wicked. See, you got wicked people who rule this world and you will praise them. Then you got men who's putting a good foot forward in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You will condemn them. And going back to Christianity, you will say, yo, pork chop eating pastor, that's a man of the Lord. But then when you see a man on the highways and byways that don't have a suit and tie on that's wearing a garment, oh, he is Satan. You got you got Satan on your brother, you know? So, yeah, you're going to pay for all of that. And it's everyone that do of evil and the good uh, is good in the sight of Yahweh. And he delighteth in them. Or where is the God or where is the most high judgment? So basically you trying to uh, hasten the Lord. Because here's the thing. Amos 5 and 18 said, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. For what end is it for you? So you got so like like I said, I was a Christian at one point in time. I used to always delight in the day of the Lord because what did Christianity taught you? You know, heaven, basically you just floating in the sky with with, with the Lord and you happy, butterf you know, got butterflies, stuff like that. But the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth. But now understanding the truth, like the, the things that have to strand uh the things that have to transpire before you know the kingdom of heaven is set up. If you're not in good standing with Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, then all the things that the Lord is going to allow to come upon this earth, you're going to be caught up in it. So Christians is still waiting for, you know, sweet Jesus to, you know, come back and, and, and accept everybody. So you got a lot of people on TikTok and these um, social media platforms that talk about Jesus all the time and him returning. But they never talk about how he going to return. They think that he's about to come back and just set you know, basically the world that it is right now, sweet Jesus going to come back and he just going to make everybody, you know, righteous. No, judgment have to go out. So uh, Proverbs 29 and 6, in a transgression of an evil man, there is a snare because sentence against evil work not executed speedily, but the righteous do sing and rejoice. And that is about to come. All right. So there is a snare for wickedness. So right now it appears that the wicked is winning and, and they living good, you know, but there is a snare. 
could the most high rest of his indignation upon sinners. So when you're resting, you're chilling. The Lord just sitting back. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked and the sinner. You know, these are just a straightforward, don't even need to be breaking down scriptures that I got, you know. So this is what's coming. And this is what makes the blessing so great. This is what makes, you know, the truth hard for you to get into. You really have to have a, you really have to be special because the Lord is the one that have to give you the spirit to receive this truth. Because you see the total opposite of what the Lord is saying. You don't see the kingdom of heaven. All right. You don't see us being changed in the twinkling of an eye. You don't see Esau, Edom, the wicked, the self-proclaimed white people since 1681, the devil that the Bible speak of in chains right now going into captivity under the Israelites. You don't see those things. So you seeing him winning and the people that sell their soul to him, they're winning. All right. So you looking at it like, damn, I mean, you keep saying that, you know, the righteous going to win, but when, but when, all right, I'm seeing the wicked win. I want a piece of this. So that's the beautiful thing about this truth. That's what makes this truth so dynamic because the total opposite of what the Lord promised us is happening. So you're seeing the wicked flourish and the righteous going through things, but the scriptures back it up. John 16 and 20, my top five scripture. Okay. The world shall rejoice, but you shall mourn and weep, but I shall come to your joy. Okay. It's three parts. All right. The present. And the future. Actually, it's two parts. It's Lockia, All right. The present and the future. So. um, In the house of the righteous is much treasure because we have the kingdom to look forward to. But in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. OK, so no matter what the wicked do. You are not going to escape. That's why the Lord foretold about your bunkers. All right. Your underground cities, your mountain retreats. You know, you can't hide. The Lord said that he's going to bind their kings with fetters of iron. The men of the Lord is going to pull you out of those. And the angels is going to pull you from the um, crevice of the rocks. All right. That's in Amos 9. Also in Revelation 6. It's somewhere else too. Can't think about it right now. Um. Proverbs 10, 24, the fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. So there is a judgment. All right. There is a judgment and the judgment is going to be upon people who think they know something. Who think that the wisdom of this world is going to save them, who think that money going to save them, who think that their degree and their status in this life is going to save them. Now, in this world, and that actually goes along every aspect because even in the kingdom of heaven if you know yahweh shai yahweh bashim yahweh shai you're going to be rewarded in the kingdom of heaven right so just like in this world so it ain't about what you know it's about who you know so it don't matter what kind of context you got <laughs> don't matter about who you know in this world the lord is about to destroy this world and bring forth his world so no matter what proverbs 10 to 28 the hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but expectation of the wicked shall perish. So it's all these scriptures, which is plenty more. These are just the straightforward scriptures. Um, the wicked loses. They winning right now. They supposed to, but they lose in the end. So the ending on this. And it says Zephaniah. Oops, whatever. I just keep it like this. So it says Zephaniah, gather yourself together. Yeah. Gather together, O nation not desired. That's us. Nobody look at us for who we really are. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass. So the Lord's basically saying, seek you out, seek you out me while you can. All right. As the scripture says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Isaiah 55 and 6. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of Yahweh come up upon you, before the day of Yahweh's anger come upon you. So there is a day of judgment. Seek ye Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth, and, and that is the only ones that's going to seek him, which have wrought this judgment. Seek ye righteousness, seek ye meekness, it shall be it shall be ye, ye shall be here. I hate old English. Let me read it like this. 
it may be you shall be hid in the day of Yahweh's anger. Okay, so basically, there is a judgment coming. Basically, if you endure to the end with the faith, you're going to get that crown. And everybody who denied the Lord and fell away from the doctrine, you know, trying to save the heathen, you're going to be dealt with. You want to live the way that you want to live. You don't want to take constructive criticism. You're going to be dealt with. So that's basically what's going to happen. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom.